Here we go, folks. Big Cotters taking on the Cowgirls. One and five. Coming off the bye, the Big Cotters are. During their bye week, the Vikings lost. For, they moved to four and two. The Packers picked up another win. They lead the division by a half game. As we head to Dallas. Mike Farmer, you have not been good. You, the first game of the year, you had one catch for 13 yards and five drops. Since then, you've played a lot better. Let's see what upgrades we have. Austin Cotter will go to an 88 overall. Let's start. Can't lose to a one in five cowgirl team. Let's see if this offense can continue to build off their last few performances and the defense can continue to be Solid. They need to, I mean, we need to cover a tight end here. Who does Dallas have? Dalton Schultz? Put someone on Dalton Schultz, please. Tight ends have been murdering us this year. Corners have been good in coverage. Pretty good run defense. And some pressure at the on the quarterback the last couple of games for sure. Here we go from AT&T Stadium. The Cotters win the toss and defer. And let's do this. And here comes the Cowboy returner, and he has a solid return to the 27. Dak and the offense will take over. Let's see what this defense can do. Mid numbers from Prescott so far. Lane clears, I'm afraid. And here we go. First play from scrimmage of the ball game. Dak will look to throw. Dak is going to look to run. He tucks, and he is going to slide with a gain of seven. I thought he was going to get tackled by whoever that was in the backfield. Whoever that was missed a tackle. I wasn't paying attention to the number. Dak gets seven. Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield. He'll get the carry, and he goes down. Bryant Williams just met him at the line of scrimmage. Third and three. Great chance for a three and out to start the ball game. Dak, big drop. He is going to be short. Nice tackling by the Big Cotter defense. Greg Terry was not going to let him get to the line. And I would be surprised if the Cowboys do not punt here. They sure will. Cotter offense will take over. Great start by the defense. Jordan Elliott at the 20 will get about three on the return. Here's Lang's numbers, good completion percentage, good yardage total, got to cut the picks out and the sacks. Let's see what he's got. Packers playbook has been a complete revitalization of the offense. As there is Holvey catching the first down throw, I believe that's who that was, six yard gain. Lang to throw. Lang all day. He holds it too long and it's incomplete. He's got to get rid of the ball quicker. There's just no getting around it.
Third and four. That is complete first down. It's Mike Farmer. He has definitely looked better in this new playbook and has shored up those hands since that five drop performance. First down, Big Cotters. Hand off to Wallace, first carry of the day, and he is going nowhere. Two yard pickup. Tried to bounce it outside, but got stuffed by Micah Parsons and someone else. Lang will give it right back to him. He cuts it and gets just one more, maybe two. Brings up a third and long. Cotter's left to complete a ball here. We got Farmer lined up one on one. He tried the screen and it hit Wallace in the shoulder pad. Cotter's will punt. That is brutal. Interesting play call to say the least on third and seven. Don't know what Wallace was doing there. And a flag is down. Whatever this return is, it'll come back. Holding. And that'll back him up to the 16. Empty backfield for Prescott on first down. He's got three receivers on the left, two on the right. He'll throw quick and it is complete. I believe that is the tight end Schultz. And I mean, Jesus Christ, this defense cannot cover tight ends within 10 yards. That's actually Jake Ferguson. All day to throw for Dak, and he's going to take off and run, and he has some room. Terry finally meets him at the 44, but that is a big-time run. Prescott, complete wide open gallop. Toss tackle. And Dak is three for three for 34 yards. Just wide open. Let's see if we can see on replay where this went wrong. Can't tell. Cotters were in zone coverage there and Gallup just found a soft spot right over the middle. Dak will throw again, and he will complete again. Wide open is C.D. Lamb. That has to get fixed. That just has to get adjusted to. Way too easy on this drive as they're already at the 15. Elliott pushing his way forward. Seven-yard gain. Huge win for the Cotters if they can force three here. Second and three. Right back to Zeke. He's got a first down. Terry meets him. First and goal. Box stacked here on first and goal for the Cotters. Full back carry. And he is short. Nice tackle. Not sure who got there to make that tackle and hold him short. But whoever it was made a nice play. I believe it was Ben Keefe, 56. Elliott, blown up, it's Bryant Williams keeping him short. What a play by Williams to get penetration in the backfield and meet Elliott at about the three yard line. And it is third and goal. Can the Cotters hold again on the goal line? Elliott, met again, he's short. It's Williams getting more penetration. He has been unreal on this drive. And it's fourth and goal. Will the Cowboys go for it? They are going to settle for three. What a job by the Cotter defense. And I don't know how you kick a field goal from the one yard line. But we're not gonna complain. Three nothing Cowboys. Bryant Williams single-handedly changed that drive. Back to back downs. He got in the backfield and met Ezekiel Elliott short of the goal line. Big B came to play here in Dallas. Let's see what the offense has as Elliott will bring it out. And I thought he had some room to return there. Hunter Dickinson blocking for him. Let's 
see if they can get Wallace going. Here it is, handoff. Cowboys has done a solid job on him. He does get five. Lang's going to have to make some throws. Let's push it downfield. We got Mike Farmer one-on-one -on -one with like a six-foot corner. Wallace tried to get around the tacklers, couldn't quite do it, and it's third and two. Don't want to go three and out here. Big play. Right back to Wallace. He's got room, and he's got a first down. Cotters go three straight runs, and they pick it up. And that'll end the first quarter. Tough first quarter for the Cotters. But they come out of it only down three. Well, they will absolutely take that. Now they'll throw. Lang lofts one out of bounds. Looking for Farmer, but I think he was more so just trying to get rid of that ball. Second and ten. <clears throat> Lang drops back. Quick throw. It's complete. Sam Holvey tackled after a gain of six, and it brings up another third down. Third and four for the Cotters at the 42. Lang will throw, and he will complete it. What a grab by Tawari. 50-50 ball thrown up there by Lang, and his big receiver came down with it. Heck of a play. Let's see this one again. Really nice throw here in one-on-one, -on -one. and Tawari is just the better player. 6-4. Gets up there and makes a play. Cotter's inside the 40. Four yard pickup for Wallace on first down. He's got 22 yards on six carries so far. Definitely want to get him going. He's in the backfield again. Tyson in motion. They'll give it back to Wallace, and he will find some room. He's going to be marked a yard short, third and one. That looks like a little less than one to me. Right back. And he is not going to get it. Wow. What a play by Vander Esch as he just absolutely stood him up right at the first down marker, and you'd have to think the Cotters go for this. And they will. Fourth and inches. Offense stays out there. They're going to throw, and it's complete, and he's got room to run. It's a touchdown. What a play by the Cotters. Andrew Tyson is in on the slant. I was surprised that they decided to pass, but what a beautiful play. Quick release. Tyson just won the route early, and he is gone. 96 speed showing up there on fourth and inches. And Elliott's extra point will make this game 7-3 to three here with 7.21 to go in the half. Game-changing play. Fourth and inches turns into a touchdown. Elliott's kick deep in the end zone. Cowboys take a knee, and they'll start at the 25. See what this defense can do. Got to cover the middle of the field. I want to see more man-to-man -man here. Let those corners just work one-on-one. -on -one. Put a safety on the tight end. We'll give it... To they will not give it to Elliott. That is an interesting decision by Dak there. He had about 15 yards in front of him to run. Instead, he dumps it off. Does get eight. This time they do hand it to Elliott. He has a hole. He's got a first down. Nine 
Mike McCarthy is the whitest person I've ever seen in my life on this game. Jesus Christ. Dak. Across his body and out of bounds, he throws it away. First incompletion for Dak today. Caleb Cotter roams the sideline. Dak. Under pressure and Troy Williams gets home. Another sack for Troy. He's got at least one in all but one game this year. And it is third and 14. He just completely beat the tackle there. Let's see this again. We don't care about your film. Show the replay of the sack, please. Just a powerful move by Troy to get home. Third and 14. Cotters can get off the field. Quick throw. Dangerous, and it is incomplete. I thought maybe Gallup came down with that. Working one-on-one -on -one with Tosk. And he did not. Cotters forced the punt. And Elliott... Catches it at the 18, and a nice little return. Gets it to about the 27. Cotter offense back on the field. <clears throat> Here comes Brady laying off to a nice start. Hand off to Wallace. And he's going nowhere. Run game has not really gotten going for the Cotters. Barely over three yards a carry for Wallace so far. Only two on that one. Handoff Wallace. Blown up. Run game is just not working. Put it in Lang's hands. Make him throw. Third and seven. Lang has time, dumps it off, and a first down from Wallace. Lang had no one open downfield, dumped it to his running back, and the chains are moving. First catch of the day from Wallace. If he can't get going on the ground, may as well get him going in the pass game. 3.55 to play. They'll try again on the ground, and there it is, a hole and a 14-yard pickup. Cotters finally break through on the ground. Great blocking there. Opened up a hole. And another first down pass midfield. Cotters want to make this 14-3 before the half. Elliott, see you later. He goes nowhere, picks up one. Rare Jordan Elliott carry. Doesn't end up working. Elliott again. Barely anywhere again. Why are we handing the football to Jordan Elliott twice on first down during a promising drive? Third and seven, now they'll throw. Lang will complete, and he had no chance. He set Tyson up for failure with that high throw. And the Cotters will punt it. Two-minute warning. Cowboys will have a chance for points before the half. Jack Fox will punt it away. Let's hope we can pin him. Very, very mid punt there. Only about 27 yards. And the Cowboys start at the 21. Defense needs to hold here. Dak turns, he'll run, and he'll cut it back into the defenders. I thought he was going out of bounds. He put his body on the line, seven yard gain. They'll go some tempo here and complete open up the middle. Michael Gallup makes the play. Cowboys will continue to hurry to the line. Dak steps up. 
Cotter brings him down after a gain of five. Could have brought him down earlier, and the Cowboys will finally call a timeout with a minute to play. Defense needs to hold here, not allow any points. Cover the middle of the damn field. Cotter's in zone again. Dak throws, and wide open is Gallup. Make a fucking adjustment, Caleb. Wide open receiver just streaking across the middle. Play fucking man-to-man -man coverage. Let's go. We have really damn good man-to-man -man cover corners. Dalton Schultz picks up about nine. Second and one, 30 seconds, Dak, complete to Zeke Elliott. Nice open field tackle by Van Ass. Cowboys only have one timeout left. 15 seconds. Keep them out of the frickin' end zone. Dak is gonna run. He fumbled the ball, and Salen picks it up. He has room to run. He is going to go all the way for a touchdown. As time expires, what a turn of events in Dallas. The Connors are on top, heading to half, 14 to three. What a dumbass Dak is, and it sure looked like it was out. They won't even review it. Joel Salen with the first Cotter defensive touchdown of the year is a massive one. And instead of 7-6 or 10-7, it's 14-3, and the Cotters get the ball out of the half. Cowboys will return it as time expires, and they will go nowhere. Cotters get the football out of the break. I wasn't even paying attention to who forced that fumble. So someone who just paid attention to the replay, please tell me who forced that. I was only focused on the touchdown. Great half by the Cotters. What a turn of events to end it. Commanders beating the Packers. Let's go, Heineke. Oh, wait, it's Wentz. Sim God Carson Wentz. Please save the Cotters so that we can move into first place. Ravens and Browns. Wow. Ravens are a joke. Fourteen, fourteen Bucks and Panthers. Here's some highlights. Here it was. 48. Who the hell is that? That is Kieran Tawari, the backup linebacker, who forced that. Crazy. And then this play, too. I mean, a, a couple of huge plays in the half. Fourth and inches slant touchdown paired with the forced fumble. Recovery for a touchdown are a crazy way to get your two touchdowns. Cotters look to make this, just blow it open with this possession. Elliott with a return to about the 28. I thought he even had more room. He kind of sucks ass. Might need to change returners next week. Mild half for Wallace. Let's see if they can get him going on the ground. They'll need him to run some clock here in this half if they stay in front. They'll give it to him here, and he has some room. Seven-yard pickup. Second and three.
quick throw, incomplete, great catch by Farmer. His hands have completely come around since all the hate after the five drop performance in week one or two, can't remember which. Nothing there for Wallace, wow. <clears throat> Empty backfield now for Lang on second and 10. He'll throw, he will, incomplete. Intended for Van Ness right off his hands. Brings up a third and 10. Jesus Christ, Mike McCarthy is white. Big play here. Third and 10. Lang will throw. And he'll dump it off to Wallace, who makes a little bit of a move but can't quite get there. He goes out of bounds. And the Cotters will punt. Would have liked to blow it open with another touchdown there, but it's all right. And a fair catch called for at the 11 by Pollard. And the Cowboys will take over. Defense needs to stop here. Can't let the Cowboys get momentum back. Dak has looked to run quite a bit here, so get a linebacker with eyes on him at all times. He'll throw quick. He'll complete to Schultz, and Schultz breaks a few tackles. Joel finally brings him down. Dak is 10 of 12 for 119. <clears throat> Nothing super impressive about that, though, although he does have some guys wide open over the middle. Elliott first down, tackle made by Austin Cotter. Dak, complete to Schultz. Every damn game, there's a tight end just sitting there on a little curl wide open eight yards every game and it hasn't been adjusted to do i switch from steelers playbook after this game i'm gonna consider it dak steps up fires complete and bro went backwards thank you idiot whoever number five is thank you so much for that had about six yards and instead ran backwards for a gain of one dak keeps it and goes down. Nice read there. That is Terry who made the play. Dak kept it on the option, and Terry had eyes on him all the whole time. Third and six. Pressure came. Intercepted, and there is room. It is Joel Salen again for a touchdown. Have a damn game, man. Two defensive touchdowns. What an idiotic throw by Dak. Joel just jumped it and took it to the house. 21-3 Cotters. Joel Salen with more touchdowns than the Cotter offense in this game. Wow. What a play. And Cotter sits next to him to hype him up. Gotta love that. One more stop here and I might just sim to the end of the game. Cowboys will start at the 23. How about Dak throws us another touchdown? Look at that total yards. The Cowboys are outgaining us by 53, and it's 21 to 3. Elliott with some room, but a big tackle. That's Terry. Dak. Complete. CD Lamb working on Alex Amari and completes it. His second catch, first down. Dak will look to run. He fumbled! And the Cowboys got it back. Wow, nearly another Dak turnover. Who forced that? Let's see. The Wisconsin product at center. 
barely picked that up. That was Ben Keefe who forced it from behind. What a hit. That needs to be picked up. Look at how many blue jerseys are in the area. Second and seven. Dak turns. William Saxum! His second of the day. Dak wanted to get outside and run, and Troy was having none of it. Third and 11. Dak to throw. Complete. Elliott. Nowhere to go. Tackle made there by Joel Salen again. Guy is everywhere. And the Cowboys will punt. We'll watch this last offensive possession. And then if we score again, we'll send the fourth. What an ass punt. That is the worst punt I've ever seen. Hugh Robertson would have punted it further. Connors will start at the 42. Lang. Quick throw. Oh my goodness, Farmer. Please catch the ball. He might have been gone. He's not the fastest, so maybe not, but still, please catch that. Screen this time doesn't hit the lineman in the helmet, and Wallace has a first. And into Cowboy territory. Lang. Back to Wallace again. He jukes him, and he's inside the 40. Wallace hasn't been great on the ground today, but when he's gotten the football in the passing game, he's made some plays. Quick throw, complete, that's Andrew Tyson. What a quick throw and a bullet right into his hands. Lang again, wide open man, it's Holvey first down, and this one is getting ugly. Third quarter not even over yet, and the Cotters could make this 28-3. Dickinson in a tight end. Wallace gets three. Will they get a playoff before the third ends? They will not. On to the fourth we go. A dominating performance by the Cotters. Not in the yardage total, but on the scoreboard thanks to two defensive touchdowns. To be honest with you, the Cotter offense has played kind of ass. And we're still up 21-3. Great, great performance by the defense. I said I was going to switch from Pittsburgh playbook. That will not be happening after what happened here today. Lang, complete, and he's out of bounds. He did not get two feet in. Yikes, Tyson was wide open, couldn't stay in. Third and seven. Throwing, and he caught it, it's Farmer. No, that's Tawari, my fault. First and goal from the two. Lang keeps, and Lang gets blown up. He lost to. Interesting to call an option play with a quarterback who can't run and has like 70 speed. Actually, no, he has like 80 something, but still, bro was as slow as I've ever seen. Why are we calling that? Him keeping it should never be an option. Just hand that football off. Lang will throw. He'll complete touchdown. It's 28-3. Andrew Tyson's second of the day. And he waves goodbye to the Cowgirl fans. As they'll head home to cheer on their Duke Blue Devils. And maybe catch the end of the Laker game. 
What a domination by the Cotters here in Dallas as they'll move to 5-1. and one. Let's see if we can get a Packers score update to see if your big Cotters will be in first. We'll just watch the end of this game. Why not? 10 play, 58 yard drive. And <laughs> Greg is getting nervous. Ball comes out to about the 27. Gang tackle. See you later, asshole. Let's see if Dak can throw us our third touchdown. He'll throw. And a little screen to Elliott and a face mask calls coming on Terry. Thankfully it won't matter. Greg Terry just decides to play like shit when he sees a 28-3 score on the board. Can't really blame him. Why on earth is Mike McCarthy so white? Pressure coming. Dak steps up and completes. That's Jake Ferguson. And the Cowboys in Cotter territory. Come on. Go a whole game without giving up a TD. How about another turnover? Quick throw. Completes. Nice tackle by Van Ness there. Gain of five. Dak has only thrown three incompletions today. One of them was just so atrocious that his performance is pretty shit. And he also fumbled twice. And he also took some really retarded sacks. Dak. What in the world was that? And he somehow had Elliott wide open. Please cover Ezekiel Elliott. Commanders up 35-14 on the Packers. Love to see that. As the Cotters will move to first place. It's a sack. Bryant Williams gets half a sack, and I believe Cotter got the other half. Yep. Williams and Cotter combined for a sack. Second and 13. Cotters will be in first place after today. Dak to throw. He nearly got it picked by Joel for the second time. Great play by Joel there, but he maybe had his second pick six of the day if he just decided to put two hands on that. Third and 13. Dak will turn. Dak will go down. It's Amari, the corner with a sack. Everyone's eaten on this defense today. What a performance. Got to imagine the Cowboys will just kick a field goal with their head between their legs here and just give up. Why even just bother embarrassing yourself on 4th and 19? But they're going to. Fourth and 19, throw over the middle, and it's incomplete. What a play to knock that away by Terry. He nearly caught it, and Terry ripped it out of his grasp. Outstanding defensive play by the star middle linebacker. Dickinson in at tight end. Wallace, what a run. Stumbled forward for nine. Lang to throw complete. That is Troy Williams, the backup tight end. First down Cotters. Under five to play. Run it up, make it 35-3. Why not embarrass these pussies? Lang keeps. Lang has room to run. Brady Lang sidesteps the defender inside the 35. 26-yard run. What in the world? He is feeling it today. Look at that move. 
My goodness. Doing his best Fields impression. He showed some wheels on that. Hand off to Wallace. He bulldozes through Van Der Esch. He started to play a lot better here in the second half at second and five. Packers did get a touchdown. Let's not choke, Commanders. Lang keeps again. Lang, first down. What is this? Caleb decided he's going to call some options here. And Lang is taking that ball and going. What is going on here? <laughs> Lang again, he picks up one. Interesting way to run the clock out for sure. Will the Cotters snap it before the two minute warning? They will not. And it's 35-28, Commanders. My goodness. Let's not choke it away. Wallace runs right into his offensive lineman. Third and six. Why not make it 35-3? to three? Pick this up. We'll probably pussy out and take a knee if we get this anyway. Please don't choke, Commanders. Hand off Wallace. Short. Elliott will come out for a field goal. Fourth down. Let's make it 31-3. Just an absolute domination here in Dallas. Elliott's field goal is up. 33-yarder is good. I believe he's only missed one field goal so far, and it was from, like, 59. Let's pick Dak off one more time just for fun. 33 to play. Cowboys take a knee. And here comes Dak. What a job by the D today. Throwing complete. Why are we dumping it off, man, with 30 seconds? I mean, why even do that? Just send all four guys down the field 50 yards and chuck it. Four-yard pickup with 30 seconds left down 28. I mean, come on. Once again, get six first down and another timeout. Why even call the timeouts? Let's get out of here. Your fans got to go home and watch the Lakers tonight. Pressure came complete over the middle. Let's not let them score here. Got to keep that pride. Out of timeouts now, so if they complete one over the middle, they'll probably just run it out. Down the field. And complete, but I don't think they'll get another snap off. What a catch. But it does not matter. That'll do it. Big Cotters move to 5-1. and one. We'll see the result of that Commanders-Packers game to see whether or not that'll be good enough for first. But either way, this team is playing some good football. What is that, their fourth straight win? Four straight for the Cotters, 31-3. Here's your breakdown. Cowboys actually outgained the Cotters in this game and had 1.8 more yards per play, but two defensive touchdowns really came to play. Let's check these numbers. Very, very solid day for Lang. Nothing too special. But 16 of 22, 154 and two TDs. No picks will get it done. Wallace with a midday. 18 for 72. No TDs. Lang, though, showing off some wheels. Seven and a half yards a carry. Andrew Tyson, 44 yards receiving and two touchdowns. Wallace, four for 32. Holvey had 23 yards. Tawaris, quiet day. Farmer, uh, two for 18. Troy Williams with four yards. And Owen Van Ness with a drop. Blocking, no sacks allowed. Defensively, great.
Greg Terry is a tackle machine. How about Alex Amari? Nine tackles. TFLs, two for Bryant Williams. Sacks, two for Troy Williams. One for Ben Keefe. One for Alex Amari. Half for Austin Cotter. Half for Bryant Williams. One pick for Joel Salen. Pass deflection for Salen, Tosk, and Terry. Forced fumbles by Tawari and Keefe. Fumble recovery by Joel Salen. And how about this stat? Two defensive touchdowns from Joel today. Have yourself a game. Jordan Elliott, one for one on field goals. Four for four on extra points. Jack Fox, really shitty, shitty, shitty punting day. His job might be in jeopardy. Let's hope that that man right there lost to the Cotters are in first. Rick Rourke and Bryant Williams get skill point upgrades. We play the Packers in two weeks. Wow. Let's advance week and see if the Packers lost or not. Moment of truth. Are the Cotters in first in the NFC North? They are. Big Cotters in first place as they'll take on the Miami Dolphins at home. I have to finish this assignment for school. Let's do it 11.59 tonight, but I will be back in about 30 to 40 minutes to play this next game. Go Cots. Wait, wait, wait. Let's check these weekly awards first. I know who won one. It was Joel Salen. Two tackles, one pick, one fumble recovery, and two touchdowns. Congrats to Joel on the first Big Cotter Player of the Week on either side of the ball this year. Now I will be back in 30 to 40 minutes.